So curious, like I have my thoughts, but what is it like in the last year or two, ambient scribing has become such a delighter for clinicians. I've never been involved in a technology that's had more of a positive reception and more of an organic interest in, hey, when can we get this? What's your take on what's fueled that and what's led us to this moment? It's a really good question. So maybe we start back at our last company and how we came to some of the insights to, to start Ambient. We ran a care provider entity. And mm -hmm. one of the things we quickly learned that only about 20% of our clinicians day was spending time directly with patient care. And actually a lot of the 73% was on charting, coding, and other admin. So we naturally tried all of the different ambient solutions out there and quickly learned a couple of things. First of all, what works at a demo doesn't always work in reality. Mm -hmm. And that oftentimes clunky technology is worse than no technology. And frankly speaking, we didn't see the outcomes. So out of frustration, that's when we started Ambient Healthcare in 2020. And our goal overall was thinking, gosh, how do we actually turn that 27% to 73%. So the majority of the time clinicians will spend on direct patient care. So why is that really important to us? At the core, clinicians went into this profession to take care of patients. And the challenges with modern day practice is that they spent so much time entering data in the EHR. And there are two things. They're forced to either multitask during a visit or stay up late to, to finish charting at night. Few people actually have enough funds to afford hiring a human scribe to help them do this work. This has led mostly this burnout of charting and documentation along with CDI being some of the leading causes of burnout across some of our already overworked clinicians. In what we are seeing over across the nation is that many have already left the profession. Others are considering at a time when we have a really large national shortage of clinicians. So when you finally get a chance to build a tool that can allow clinicians to actually focus their undivided attention to patients. They have more time to listen, more time to think, and more time to give care. And that ultimately leads to happy clinicians, happy patients, a happy health system. And to me in healthcare, where very few times you get this triple win and we'll take it whenever you can get it.